Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we got us a beer from Mother's Brewing. And these guys are out of Springfield, Missouri. This is their blush. And what that is, uh, says here, it is a palm, pomegranate hibiscus wit ale, which means wheat. Uh, 5% alcohol, 14 IBUs, and the date on the side of the bottle here... 042716. So, uh, it was done in April, and we're doing this uh, here, what's today, 19th of June. So, uh, should be still kind of fresh. So, uh, I brought out the uh, the wheezing glass. This is my wheezing glass, the wheat glass I use. It also it says you could use a, uh, well, I'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, Everything is on the bottle. ABV, IBUs, and the bottled on date. All three things. Top notch there. Uh, we got all the information we need. Uh, being a palm granite, if you're into the berry-like uh, wheat beers, this may be a really good choice. Uh, and, and being a 5% or low ABV, you should be able to sample this without getting knocked too hard in the head or face down in the dirt. So... Uh, Food pairings for this. Oh, by the way, this was sent to me by Shane. Shane, thanks a bunch, my brother, for sending me the beers you did. Uh, food pairings for this. Cheeses, pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, tangy cheeses, brick out and feta, meat, poultry, fish, shellfish. Glass, right, pine, back, and knock, tumbler, mug, Pilsner glass, pokel, sign, sidel. I'm going to use my wheat glass and not recommend it for extended salary. So let's get the cap off of this puppy and see what we got. Not a big hiss on this one at all. Ooh, it's got a pinkish color coming out of the bottle, it looks like. I guess that's the pomegranates. And it does have a slight pinkish characteristic to the color. Uh, amber with a pink hue, if you will. A lot of bubbles streaming up on this one. Let's get a nose on it. Very berry-like, raspberries, pomegranate. Nice floral, herbal hops in this. Smells very light. Uh, a quintessential berry-esque lawnmower beer, if you will, probably. A little hints of some lemon in there. But the uh, pomegranate is standing out more than anything else. So let's give it a hit and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Shane. Very light wheat beer. Pomegranate is definitely there. A beer, a nice berry-esque melon taste to me. The uh, pomegranate adds a little bit more to it along with the wheat. Very easy drinking. Alcohol is non-existent in the taste or the smell. Very nice. A great low ABV lawnmower beer. And, I, and when I say that, I'm not saying that derogatory, guys. Something light ABV, very crisp, very uh, easy to drink, no alcohol uh, taste or, or smell in it to me. 
uh, or you could be out working in the yard and come back and in the house and have one of these or set out on the deck uh, in between cutting the grass or whatever you're doing, chopping wood or whatever, working on the car or the truck, whatever, and take a, a break and have one or two of these and go back to what you were doing. So, uh, a, a nice, easy drinking uh, uh, low ABV wheat, wheat beer. So, well, let me take it back and let her have a sip two or three and we'll come back and see where she ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Poured some for the other half to sip on. She's a pomegranate fan, and uh, it's a very, very tasty beer. I mean, it's uh, not my style, of course, but uh, all the information on the bottle, if you want, uh, a little bit of tartness in there, a uh, little bit of berry s flavor from the pomegranates. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of raspberry in there. Uh, nice floral, herbal, hot presence. Decent lawnmower beer, if you will. Very easy drinking. Final chug. A little tart from my liking, but very easy drinking. A nice change up, if you will. So, uh, to me, guys, uh, I'm going to give this a B. Plus. This is a 7 in the scale. Not quite to the A category to me, but. Uh, they got all the information on the bottle. Uh, decent. If you're into this style, this would be a great one to pick up and give it a try if you can get Mother's Brewing beers in your area. So, very nice. Uh, beer Advocate and Rate Beer, neither one has a rating on this. Uh, I maybe get some brand new offering from them just coming out in April. Both of the sites only have two reviews uh, each on there, so they haven't given a grade on it yet. But I'm on my own on this one, and I think it's, it's, it's tasty. So, uh, giving it to B+, plus, uh, if I was putting a grade on this, it would probably be 88 to 89. It's pretty tasty. A nice, uh, easy drinking, uh, summertime beer. Very nice. So, uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, and if you're into this style and you can get that uh, Mother Brewing beers in your area, pick it up, give it a try. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what we can dig out of the fridge. Thanks again, Shane. See everybody tomorrow.